because every event in history that is similar to another event involving the same personality or the same personalities and re relative to the same geographical locations, coordinates in, in space-time will have a signature and you can measure that signature. Signature. There are ways to follow the event, the event uh, projection. I, I, I call them reality tunnels because reality tunnels Reality tunnels are, are something every single one of us experience. What you go through in a daily life is a reality tunnel based completely upon the predicates of your past. What you have formed as habits and decisions in your past basically form the mathematical echoes of an architecture that you experience the very following day. Unless you make a very conscious decision to all of a sudden do something else, which is very, very, with it's, it's very, very powerful to do something like that. To break routine, pattern breaks are creative. You can go your entire fucking life doing the exact same thing. And then all of a sudden, 30 seconds before, before you were supposed to get on the same bus that you get on every single day for 37 years, all of a sudden you just decide, I'm not doing that. I'm going to walk. Something's going to happen. You're going to meet somebody. You're going to experience an event or you're going to witness something. Some pattern breaks are creative. When you force pattern breaks on reality, reality responds with extraordinary circumstances almost every single time because it has to figure out something very fast to do because you just completely violated a reality tunnel and now it has to knit for a, a whole new future for you or at least bridge one until you get back into your reality tunnel. These pattern breaks are fantastic. I find them all, all, in, all throughout history. Cultures, people, cities, governments, militaries, they all experience these pattern breaks. But unless they're really, really... Uh, <clears throat> serious about doing what they deviated in doing, they conform right back to the original arithmetic. They'll go back into the same reality tunnel. This is this is the the greatest power of the simulacrum to normalize slavery and to make you go back and conform to what you tried to escape from. And we do this we do this to ourselves every week, every month. Every year, we find ourselves in the same patterns. We get disgusted with it, and we think there's no way out. When we get in our car and we drive away from our homes to go do something, and then just one day, you're so fed up, feeling empty, scraped out, and hollow, vacuous, and you decide, you know what? Screw my car. I'm just going to walk somewhere. And then when you walk, by the time you've come back, you've made three friends, discovered more about your discovered more about your environment, and don't even know that there's two other people in your community that are going to come over within the next two or three days because now they know who you are and they're not they don't that that fear of the unknown isn't there and they have opportunities for you. Other people are often our greatest resources, and uh, it's a uh, because we are a community. It doesn't matter who we are. We are we are one hundred percent a community, and like attracts like. So when you pattern break, you instantly force the simulacrum to act and to react. It wants to try and put you right back into that reality tunnel. But if you're serious and you're and you and you and you you've got a lot of emotion behind it, willpower behind it, you're not gonna continue to do the slavery shit you've been doing that you're dissatisfied with. It will start building for you a future that will conform to what you want because it wants to contain the contagion. If you are not if you are not a docile slave and you become a free thinking individual, reality itself will, will try to completely uh, insulate the behavior. It will try to isolate you, give you the things you need, give you the things you want, and make you happy enough to where you won't go back into your reality tunnel to infect everybody else you know. And this is what I've found over and over. This is it's when it's when you make a conscious decision to pattern break. 
and those same pattern breaks can be found in mathematical echoes throughout all of history. If you study history with a calculator in hand, you will see when different civilizations experienced a pattern break, when a tipping point happened, when a majority of people within that population decided we've had enough and they did something about it. Whatever it was, the, the geopolitical politics of the time, an aggressive neighbor, whatever it was, and they decided they had enough and they started moving in a certain direction and all of a sudden these awesome things happened for these people and then within seven years they were back in the same position they were but with worse circumstances. The simulacrum had got them right back into the slavery mind and accepting it again but with even harsher circumstances. So 